uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can crop images scale images and rotate images by using this mini photo editor inside your angular 14 application so basically we will be showing you a very simple example here we have this angular application hosted localhost 4200 we have a choose file button if i click this button i will be able to select the images let me select this image here you will now see basically this will be a pop-up window model where a simple image editor is there and basically here you can simply you can perform the operations here you can crop the images using this live preview section it is also having this live preview as well you can uh, rotate this image let's suppose i need to scale it by a certain portion i need to scale down zoom out zoom in we can even rotate this image you can see that we can even perform the rotation as well and also we can flip this image as well and you can see that and now if you want to reset you can even do that so after you perform the modification guys let's suppose you want to apply these modifications if i click apply you will now see the image is successfully cropped and rotated and now our computer so you will see the image is saved here if you see the image is successfully saved here and now guys we will basically be telling you how basically you can perform this so if you go to npmjs.com guys basically this is uh, the uh, basically the dependency we are using ngx and uh, we are using this uh, photo editor dependency so if you search for this the very first dependency which comes here you can see that 1279 weekly downloads are there so it's a very powerful dependency and we will be showing you step by step instruction on how to integrate this inside your angular 14 application so it's very easy i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of the video so you will need to just follow the step by step instruction so as you make your angular project guide the you just need to install this dependency npmi ngx dash photo dash editor so just install this i have already installed it so i will not install it once again so i will just start this angular application so now the very first thing we will need to do we let me just delete all this stuff and start from scratch So the very first thing you need to do guys this is basically the directory structure of the angular application here you just need to go to this file which is angular.json so just go to this file guys and basically here inside your styles array you just need to basically add uh, a line of code here which is necessary so let me just show you what line of code that you need to write so as you import this uh, photo editor there is a css file that we need to write so just put a comma here after this we will include this line here which is uh, it is stored under node modules and inside ngx dash photo editor and inside this we have the css file that we need to import photo dash editor dot css that's all this is basically the file that we need to import so simply import this inside the styles array now you can simply close this file we no longer need it so now after this we just need to basically go to our uh, app dot component or html file here here you will write the html for the application which very easy we will basically have a input input field where we can select the image file input type file and here we can even uh, only select uh, images so we will also bind the on change so whenever you have selected an image we will basically execute this method file change handler and here we will pass the actual image which the user has selected inside event so just close this and after this we will display this image whenever you have performed the modification uh, inside output and we will take the base 64 code of the image and we will display it that's all this is all the html which is needed for this application now you just need to go to your app.component.ts file and write basically here guys we need to here uh, just have the output variable set to ngx cropped event 
this basically will be imported here you will see that ngx cropped event and here you just need to import this from ngx photo editor so this is automatically imported you will see that and after this guys we need to have a constructor here so a constructor will be there and here we will use the service private service and this service will be of the type ngx uh, photo editor service so this is also imported automatically at the very top you will see that ngx photo editor service and after that guys we will def de define this function that we have initialized here which is a file change handler so whenever you the user has selected a image file this function will execute which is file change handler and here we will get the event here which is of the type any and inside this guys we will initialize the service this dot service we will open it inside a modal window pop-up window and inside this we will pass the uh, actual image which is stored inside the event variable and inside options we will basically pass the aspect ratio of the image which will be you can pass 4 by 3 and auto compress or auto I think auto crop area so this you can say 1 and then you basically you can call subscribe to it subscribe it and the data which will be coming which will be the base 64 data and this this we can initialize it to the output variable which we have initialized this dot data that's all so if you just console log it you will just see it is basically the base 64 of the image which is successfully cropped so we are just uh, uh, displaying it inside the image inside the html you will see this output one question mark dot base 64 like this so now if you reload the application guys and if i now click this button and now if i choose this image file you will now see a pop-up window will appear and here we can perform the modifications we can crop this image click on apply uh, nothing happens let me see okay i think we have made a mistake here let me see here output question mark oh sorry this needs to be this is basically option so this needs to be surrounded by square brackets so now this will work so now if you crop it also perform the rotation as well and now you can see your image is successfully you can also see inside the console guys basically this contains an object which is base 64 so this is the base 64 code of the image you will see that and this is the actual file which is selected by the user so we are simply displaying the base 64 code here output question mark dot base 64 like this and you can open this image in new tab and also save this image right clicking it so this is the overall package guys ngx photo editor it's a very awesome package you can go to the description of the video to copy paste all the source code thank you very much for watching this video